Here we are on lesson 13 of the express course. I've moved myself up to here to bubble four. Make sure you watch the videos from our previous bubbles um, that are included in the code.org and they give you good instructions. Uh, as you get to number four here, this is where they start using a repeat loop. And you learned this in a previous lesson. Um, would have been as a until loop, and this is just sort of a different version of it. Um, we are simply trying to get to the dolphin, right? So the goal is to get to the dolphin. We're going to move forward until we reach that goal, which happens to be the dolphin for this one. Um, and then it starts getting a little more complex after that, right? So if I, for example, jump up to bubble number seven here, uh, this one has you repeat until there's a goal, but I'm trying to get to uh, somewhere. Whoop, here, let's jump up to number seven. Number seven here has you repeat. Uh, and then you can also use a conditional here. A conditional is where it's checking for a condition. So this one happens to check for a path to the right. Now you can do this where you're moving forward and going left and right and left and right, moving all the way around. But the quickest way is to go forward and just turn right. And if you think back to your farmer, um, your farmer lessons, uh, or some of your other maze lessons, it's really just trying to find a pattern and what is the shortest way there. So this would be easily move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, all the way around. But I can also have it do this. You know what, I want you to repeat moving forward. And then I want you to continuously check to see is there a path to the right side. So as this character moves forward, as soon as there is a path to the right side, this condition is met and it does the action inside, which happens to be turning right. And you'll see that this makes it work. Then I'm going to jump ahead to number 10 here and give you where this really starts getting uh, complex with some of the conditionals. <clears throat> this one has you and I don't have the solution here, but this one is where you are trying to get to the end goal, right? So you're trying to get to the uh, the end monument here. And if you click the little light bulb, it's gonna give you a hint. And see the sea lanterns, how can you use a conditional with them to get through the ocean? So right here are the sea lanterns, right? On the corner, so at the corner, at the corner. And if you notice, these are perfectly at the corner, kind of giving you all these opportunities really but as soon as you see a sea lantern, you should be turning right. So instead of looking for a path to the right, because there's a few opportunities where that might throw you off, maybe as soon as you are standing on a sea lantern, you have your character do or perform some action. So right away, just with all of these, we're going to repeat the goal and we want to continue moving forward, but also checking to see if there's a lantern and then see what action you want him to perform. Uh, when he gets to these corners or these sea lanterns. I'm not gonna give you the solution to this one, but that should give you enough tricks to move through. Once you're done with lesson 13, go ahead and move on to 14, uh, which will continue this concept. Lesson 14 talks about some until loops, which is uh, the same as while loops, really. Uh, you're gonna continue doing uh, some action as long as a condition is met which is the same as what conditionals and while loops and until loops are doing uh, all through all of this. All right, good luck and have fun.